All right, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another crazy story. So today's story takes place back when I was in high school. And honestly, I know what the title looks like, and trust me, I can explain it. You see, back in high school, this was my grade 9 year, and I remember basically in grade 9, everyone was getting hormones. And if you guys don't know what hormones are, basically it's when your body starts to change. A lot of people are late bloomers in high school, so a lot of them start getting in grade 9 to grade 10. But also, I'm not going to lie, as for me, I got a lot of it throughout grade 8, grade 9, and 10. I don't know. I guess I was somewhat of a late bloomer, but also a bit early. Yo, bro. So like me and some girls are having a sleepover at my place. It's going to be like a boy and girl kind of like sleepover. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I just wanted to know if you would come because like there's a couple chicks that said that I should invite you. So like you down? I remember when he told me that I was actually pretty down for it. I don't know. Sleepovers are pretty fun usually. And I remember back when I was a kid, like way younger than grade nine, sleepovers were like the top thing. Like I remember back when I was a kid, me and my cousin, we loved having sleepovers together because we just play video games all night. But I guess in this sense since i was getting invited from a school friend and in being in high school who knows what would have happened and also not to mention there were going to be girls there so i remember i told him oh yeah man like i'm so down and i remember i dabbed him up and then afterwards he added me to a snapchat group chat that was basically all the people that were going there were 10 people going five of them were guys and five of them were girls but i remember when i got added to the group chat there were three different girls that actually were really interested in me and wanted to talk to me now at first i was pretty awkward about this i won't lie because i didn't really know how the sleepover was going to go but but obviously what I decided to do was that night, I remember I went home to my parents and started telling them that there's a sleepover going on and all this stuff. And obviously I didn't tell them girls were going to be there because then I knew my gal would be pretty upset. Because let's be real here. When you're in high school, your parents don't really want you to go out and having a crazy adventure unless your parents aren't strict like mine. But basically I remember I told them, hey, uh, mom, dad, I'm going to be going to a sleepover. And uh, it's just like, you know, me and my friend. Is, is it cool? I remember my mom asked me, who's going to be there? What's the address? And tell me what time I should pick you up tomorrow i remember she said that and honestly my mom would always come in clutch for me like no jokes like you always have that one parent you're dependent on to like you know be there for you and always be by your side and for me that was my mom my dad on the other hand well he was more loving and supportive but he always made sure i was on the right path and it's funny for me to say that because now i'm a youtuber talking about doing the devil's tango but you know let's keep going with the story anyways i remember after i told my parents about it they were really calm with it and i remember they ended up driving me that night to my friend's house and when i got there i'm not gonna lie I only had my pillow, my blanket, and a change of pajamas in my bag, and also a pair of underwear, just in case anything happened. Because I won't lie, I had a bladder problem back when I was a kid, so taking a waz on the bed was very common for me. Yes, okay, I was a bedwetter. I don't know how else to explain it to you guys, okay? It was just a bad habit. Because, like, you know, like, that feeling when you get, like, a really bad dream, and then, like, that dream leads you to, like, wake up, and, like, you go to the bathroom, and, like, you end up waking up not actually being in the bathroom? There's no way I actually am the only person that ever had those dreams, okay? You know, that's a story for another time, but that that's basically what happened to me usually. So I remember I had an extra pair of underwear, extra change of pajamas, and then I had my blanket and my pillow. And I brought one of my favorite pillows ever. It wasn't just a normal pillow. It was actually, funny enough, a really cool pillow that my grandma got me. It was like this really cool silk, and it felt really, really nice. Anyways, I remember when I got there, I saw everyone there, and basically I saw my friend walk up to me saying, yo, bro, okay, so girls are in that room, guys are in this room, but we're gonna like all hang out in the living room and like watch a movie together. So like, pick your girl, you know what I'm saying? They've been waiting for you, bro. Uh, thanks, I guess, is what I told him. Then afterwards, I I remember me and my buddy, we ended up going to the living room and all the girls were there and they all saw me. They all started talking to me. And I remember one of the girls ended up saying, Hey, um, like, so when we watched the movie, do you want to like cuddle with me? Uh, I mean, I could. And then another girl walks up to me saying, Hey, like, Bubba, you know what? You should cuddle with me instead. As she like starts like perking up her cherries. I don't know. It became really awkward. And I remember there was like one of the guys that were there at the sleepover. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think I've explained this before, but you guys all know that one person that can never pull a girl, like just by looking looking at them, you know they cannot pull women. Yeah, that was that guy. But then I remember I basically just sat down on the couch and just sat there with two girls beside me and we just started watching the movie. We were watching a movie. I think it was like some kind of horror movie. I have no idea. It's basically about this guy who has like a knife and he just like has like a weird like mask. I, I have no idea what the movie was, but basically it made no sense. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of horror movies. I don't know if you guys like horror movies, but for me, it's just a no-go. But I remember we were basically watching this movie. I had two chicks beside me. We were all eating popcorn and I'm not gonna lie. It got to the point where these girls were literally feeding me popcorn. I don't know. I felt like a king and it was pretty awesome. But then I'm not going to lie. Things got 
really, really bad. Because the entire time we were watching this movie, in the corner of my eye, I saw this guy just staring me down, being all angry and upset. No, I didn't know what to do. And honestly, I wanted to come in clutch. So I remember I decided to kind of talk him up and be the wingman. Because you already know one thing you guys have to understand is that the bro code is always valid. You always got to be there for the homies that need a girl. You already know what I mean. Like, for example, if your friend goes into a breakup, the boys are there for you. You know what I mean? So you got to be one of those guys. And I remember I was that guy. So I remember I basically started to, you know, talk him up. So I remember I pointed at him saying, yo, bro, like, you're the smart guy in my class, bro. Like, didn't you, like, finish the homework early and stuff? And right away when he looked at me, he knew what I was trying to get at, but he didn't want to acknowledge it. For some reason, this guy was being so annoying and so upset to the point where he was like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. Okay, dude, I was just trying to help, but whatever. Anyways, after that moment, I remember I basically just didn't talk to him, and I remember I was just talking to these girls. And then I want to say, like, two hours in, my friend ended up ordering pizza. We all started eating pizza together. We all ate pizza. We started talking about life in school and started talking talking like, you know, mad, like bad talk, like talking behind people's backs. Cause that's like the only thing that's entertaining in high school, really. And then I remember this guy ended up for some reason deciding that we should play a game of truth or dare. Now, when we were playing truth or dare, I remember things got really interesting. And remember we were in grade nine. So we were like really innocent somewhat. Well, I mean, I wasn't really, and the girls weren't, but for some reason, most of the guys at that party were innocent, I will say. So I remember one of the guys ended up getting truth or dare. And I remember he said, oh, like, I'll do a dare, I guess. And then the girl gave it to him. So basically the girl gave him the dare to take off his shirt. And for some reason, when it was his turn, he decided to tell a girl to take off her shirt when she said dare. And no joke, this girl ended up taking off her shirt. And when this happened, I remember I didn't really care, obviously, but obviously I got a little bricked. And then basically the guy that basically was like jealous of me the entire time we were there literally got bricked. And it was obvious because he was wearing those like really tight, like sweatpants that you like get from like Costco or something. Like he was like, really obviously bricked up. Now, I'm not going to say why I was looking down there, but I'm just saying it got really weird. And then I remember basically after that, my buddy was like, okay, you know what? We should all just go to bed. This is getting weird. So I remember we all ended up going to bed and we all ended up going to, into separate rooms. So basically the guys had one room and the girls had the other. Obviously we wanted to keep things somewhat appropriate. Okay. Just in case his parents came home that night, you know, we wanted to make sure we were following the house rules. But then I remember I ended up getting a snap from a girl that added me on Snapchat from the group chat that we were in earlier. She ends up sending me a snap saying, Saying, hey, like, you wanna like maybe like you know make out in the living room? And I remember I said I was down, so I ended up going to the living room, and basically I ended up sitting on the couch and just started making out with her. Obviously, we weren't gonna do the devil's tango, but this girl really wanted to. And then I remember like 20 minutes in, for some reason, I saw someone peeking through the door of like the bedroom that I was in before, and it was one of the guys. So I remember I kind of like pulled the girl off me and said, Yo, give me one sec here. And then I ended up walking towards the room, but as I started walking towards towards it, I remember seeing this guy just basically run and went to the bathroom that was inside that room. When he went there, I remember I was looking around and I was like trying to figure out who was missing. And then I realized it was the one guy, the one dude that was literally jealous of me the entire night. So I was super weirded out and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go to bed and tell that girl to go to bed. So I remember went back to the living room, told the girl, yo, just go to bed. Like we'll, we can like hang out some other time, but like, let's just go to sleep, bro. I'm kind of tired. And then she said, oh, okay. Just did you figure out who was watching us? Don't worry about it was just a mistake or something is what I said afterwards. She said, okay. And then she ended up going to bed. And then afterwards, I remember when I came back into the room and I wanted to lay down back in my bed, my pillow wasn't there. For some reason, my nice silk pillow was not there at all. I was super weirded out and I was like figuring out where it was. And then I realized that the guy was still in the washroom and he sounded like he was like attacking something. Like it sounded like... I know it's weird to make sound effects, but trust me, it's for the video, okay? It's just so you guys get an idea. And then I remember I knocked on the door saying, yo, bro, by any chance, do you have my pillow in there? And then the man opens the door. He ended up giving me the pillow and he went straight to bed and laid down. And then I was like, what were you doing with my pillow? I thought you maybe like, you know, punched it or something to get his anger out. And don't get me wrong, I had a really nice puffy pillow. So I remember I ended up getting my pillow, laying in bed. And I remember when I put my head on the pillow, I hear like a squish noise, like a... And when I heard that, I was so weirded out. I'm like, what's going on? So I remember I take my pillow to the bathroom and I turn on the light and I see that there's literally devil's cream on my pillow. He put literally his eggplant in my pillow. Like what? I remember when he did this, I was disgusted. And I literally, I remember went outside the room, turned on the light and said, dude, what did you do to my pillow? All the guys ended up waking up and all the girls ended up waking up because I yelled it pretty loud. And they all came into the room and I'm like, bro, what'd you do? And 
he's like, well, you had all the girls, so, like, I had to get something for myself. My pillow? Like, dude, it was so disgusting, and honestly, to this day, I wish it never happens to anyone. But all I'm saying is, is that don't use another man's pillow. I don't know. After that day, none of us ended up talking to him, and we never invited him to another hangout again, but, you know, that's just gross, dude. But anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story, so make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.